I have way I'm hearing a sound that's not me. It's the fan. I don't see if this thing actually goes anywhere. Doesn't look like it, but good to check. Maybe I can punch through this? Let's find out. Punching it is not doing me much good. Turn this out. Gotta crawl deeper. My assumption is that uh, we'll probably have to do something to repair the fan because it seems kind of weird that's just stuck. Wait, there's a body in it. Is this gonna be another soul we have to help? Save the soul. The body oddly disappeared. Guess I go back to the other path. They try a surprise attack to you. <laughs> that was definitely one way to throw me a party. Vent's gone now, it looks like. Let's get going. Deeper and deeper. I predict we'll be a okay. Anything that from you? The answer is no. There's a light or something over here. It's probably electricity. You turn on a lot of lights in this game. Ah, heater. This will probably heal me more than a fucking fan will. Ah, actually heals a lot more than I expected. Alright, that's about like two thirds of my. Oh, that was the can. Of course. Oh, what? I didn't see him. He was just right there. Still, though? Alright, for this sequence. Let's take care of it this way. I'm rolling towards that. Let's change reality. He gets dragged away, and we get a little bit of heat in our lives. Now we all know what's about to come. Flash of something. Good. We're not that bad at that. Now then, let's turn on the lights. I'm gonna bring out my fire axe for this next one. Alright, let's turn the lights on and then we'll be caught right back on up. If you want to open, you gotta give it a good swing. So there's some enemy that's gonna try and sneak attack us, but we first get a little bit of heat here from the good old heater. If only there was someone to go around and tell campfire stories with around the heater. Now where's this enemy that surprised me last time? Oh! There he is, he hit me with that fucking axe, didn't he? Well, he tried, he failed. Time to warm up again. Because warming up is how I heal. This game would be so easy if this game was set on a tropical island. Just like, literally just walk over his corpse to give the fuck. I'll use this weapon. Am I going? Is there a door? What is down here? I don't see anything. Wait, wait. There's a door. It was even a load door. Next area, go go. So making that assumption, we've been through four or five different loadable areas so far, I think. I wonder if the game's gonna take place entirely in the boat or if we're gonna eventually go out of the bow into the forest. Because the stories that were being read about by that one narrator girl, she's definitely telling us about forest, but we haven't obviously we're not in a forest right now. 
that's not open, that's not open, but I can suggestively rub the door. Let's go this way then. Flickering lights everywhere. Or that can lead to something. This could be prone for seizures. Lights on. I don't want to get too close because if this is an enemy spawn, then maybe it might surprise me. Well then, I can accept that. Alright. Give me heat, but I don't really need any of the heat apparently. How many icicles do you think are on this boat? This sounds really loud. Open the door for me. Oh, fuck it. Well, that was the thing. So this is where I'm going. I know there's a fire here. Where am I? Okay, I, I was here earlier. So that was the fire earlier. Is it bad? I don't remember this place actually, now that I'm paying attention to it. I kind of remember going through here. It didn't look like this, did it? There? Oh, there's a door here, I'm stupid. It all comes back. Fire axe to take care of this big guy. Ah, oh, Jesus, game behind me and kicking my ass. This heater will be mine. Alright, got the. Oh, there's another one. You're nothing against my fire axe. And easy enough. The door not open, give me heater fumes. I want more heater fumes, Mom. Uh, let's look around here. To the right. Ah, they're gonna make us do a lot of twists and the turns. You can see behind cracks. This is only going in different directions. I got to see you. This heater is so good. Peekaboo? There's ammo down there. There's also an up path, though. There's like two different paths. Alright, yeah, I can't climb that. Apparently, I can't slip and slide enough. The nuclear icebreaker Northwind hit an iceberg at 2.16 a.m. on the 24th of March, 1968. The vessel's bow and starboard suffered heavy damage, which resulted in partial flooding of the third deck and damage to the stern starboard crane. There were no casualties, and the ship is currently still afloat. Repairs are underway, but may take up to a week. So what happened? We came across that iceberg three hours earlier than I expected. How did that happen? How could I screw up so badly? Was it one of those moments when nature teaches you a painful lesson, and you realize that even the most experienced dowser can get it wrong? The possibility. All right. There's definitely ammo here. It's leaving me on a fuck. It's like one of those moments where they lead you along a trail of fucking breadcrumbs. Except it's bullets. I'm now imagining a girl, like just a little girl running around dropping bullets on the floor to the forest. Alright, so we're still following 
the bullet breadcrumbs, I'm gonna call them for the moment. This is obviously gonna lead to something. I'm gonna crouch while I do it. Like, mmm, bullets. Sure as ball, dark down there. It'd be a shame if something were to happen. Was unique to say the very least. But this oh wait, no, this is heat. And good. I mean, why not take looks? Now there was music coming from back here. Then there was a staircase right there, so maybe I need to make my way back. That's a new enemy. Come on down, the war is fine. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, let's see if I can beat this guy with an axe. That was possibly a really bad idea. So, those guys can kill you really quickly. They have the fires and they have the other things. I don't want to waste ammo, but I did just pick up some of it, so maybe I'll be okay if I shoot him. I think the game wants to use your gun. But I'm trying to save my ammo for later in. I'm going to try one more time, stupidly, with a fire axe. There he goes. Straight on up. Let's get a little bit of health here. Now, I was just talking a little bit about ago about how there's only certain types of enemies in this game, so that'll be our third type of enemy, really. There's the regular guys and the big guys. Now we have fire guys. Let's go. I'll waste some ammo. By waste, I mean kill. Oh, come on, hop on down. Bad time to reload me. He's got like electricity abilities. Oh, he still kicked my ass. I missed the first shot though. I should probably wait till he lands on the ground in case it's like some cinematic moment where I can't hurt him. Maybe it's not a cinematic moment. Maybe it's just completely fine and a-okay. Still though. And since the gun reloads so slowly in this game, I need to be a little bit careful. Actually, okay. Use this. But he does have a lot of health. I can credit there. Who is the shadowy man? Climbing up the stairs. That's the question of the day. Warm ourselves up a small bit. And should be good. Guns locked and loaded. Let's see how this works. Come on, piggy, let's go. I am shooting him in the face, that's the bright side. We just did that. Actually, a lot better than the previous couple times. Reload some of my ammo. Now let's pull this out. So these guys probably are not worth fist punching because they got that electromagnetic attack. Interesting mask, though. Let's roll. I'm warm. I'm 
However, though, maybe he knocks something over now, so I'll be able to... Yep, he knocked that over all the way, which will probably knock something else over. Let's see. I knocked over another shelf. Another couple shelves, actually. Probably supposed to go over there, but first heat. Obviously, nothing bad's gonna happen in this good old hallway. My screen's flickering. A better healing place right there. I think me and everyone else just expected something to happen to the glass, maybe on the other side. Oh, let's get it clear. 2HQ, urgent. Considering the emergency, I feel that it is my duty as an officer to report that the wreck was a result of negligence and culpable inefficiency by the ship's captain. Breach of duty in the shape of ignoring ample warning from the collision warning equipment rod was the direct cause of the accident. My repeated appeals to the captain to deal with the threat were ignored. I further wish to inform you that the fact that the accident was not catastrophic was purely due to a set of lucky circumstances, especially considering the age and poor condition of the ship. I await further instructions. Mr. Secretary, you're trying to get up in the world. Right, now you're a poor old captain. Let there be light, I guess. However, though, it's not bad of him. He, we did see it happen. It's not like he's lying, he's just telling the truth, but. Yeah. Well, if we have to go up, we'll go up. There and there. I never trust little serene scenes like this. With bodies. Well, that's not what I expected, but that works. Also, he's not gonna not hit me if I'm not careful, because he will come and get me. They do a lot of damage axes in this game. I hear another enemy, though, so I'm a little bit cautious. Well, back in the crevices. Ah, we're returned here. We have to backtrack a little bit because we fell. An interesting design decision, to say the very least. I'm gonna keep my axe pulled out for the second just to be on the safe side. Ah, oh, that turned off. I want heat from that. How about you? It's also no longer debris blocking that path, so that's a bit interesting. Ah, there's another path here. Wanna fire at this time? Maybe I can axe these guys. Ah, I'm on top of him! That somehow worked out. You know, I'm not gonna question good fortune. I'm not. I'm really not gonna question. So you can't axe those guys pretty bad. Good. If you're a little bit closer to them. Both hand is wiggling. Ride that little piggy. Right on, little doggy. As the old phrase goes. Hey, guy. I don't trust you one bit. I feel the feelings mutual. So I'm going to push you off here. Actually, no, it looks like I can go reach into your heart. Let's have a poor soul out. Yeah. 
The only way to repent is to kill. Well, that was different. Knocked over another place to now walk up to, though, so... Progress. That was, honestly speaking, a pretty interesting room. The section before this, you know, we have the section with the door thing, and then the radio, yeah. I would say, uh, so far, it's probably one of my favorite rooms in the game so far. A lot happened. This open, and we in here. I don't have the health for this, but I'm gonna try. Well, I guess he ran off. Now that we've seen an enemy with a fire composite, we're gonna see a bajillion enemies with them. Well, there you go, heal my jimmies. That's, that's as much as I get for free. I don't want to waste ammo with my gun, though, so I kind of want to hold down and save my ammo for when I'm probably going to want it later in the game. Horror games have taught me to conserve as much ammo as possible. Well, that's an unfortunate side effect. Still a nice place to warm up there, though. If this has fallen, there oh, the door. Except I can't open it. Oh. Oh, he's got a gun. No. No, you don't get a word in this. Picked up another gun? Is that like the same gun or a different gun? Same gun, just more rounds. Hopefully there's no ammo cap. I hate it when games like this do that. Maybe I should have healed before I reserve power. Ignore the guy walking in bright lights. He just wants to get some his healing on. And warm it up. Holy hell, am I getting full health? This, this is the first time in the game I've gotten full health. It's rather amazing, if I do say so myself. Let's go forward. Open this door. Another soul to save. So the crew members did go crazy, just in case I am now. Uh, of course, they're gonna make me stealth this. Uh -huh -huh. I have to take the long way through. I'll probably beat the enemy. It's all in the timing with these snipers. Ah, oh, Jesus shot me dead. That's the first time I failed one of those in a while. Go back inside your brain. <laughs> He's gone berserk. Get his rifle before he kills us all. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, indeed. Uh, duck. Ah, oh, that didn't work. So I only take like two hits from his gun, or maybe three. I'll go behind this wall.
Now I need to remember that the staircase is right behind this. It's going kind of berserker. That's the part I'm a little bit worried about. I got <laughs> Sir Sir, just put the gun let me take it. And there we go. However, though, wait, that means that the enemies have some symphony thing to them, like they have some feelings or something if they fear death. Interesting way to think about that. Get some more ice. Power on. Stop that. Not very nice of him, if I can say. Oh, there's actually something which I want to check now, if I can't check it. There was another ladder upstairs that I didn't know about. Now, I only found out about it because of that last cutscene. And there's a ladder over here. Uh, don't think it's gonna help me. Okay, so I only get to upstairs in that sequence. While I'm over here, though, I can take a moment to see if I can refill some of my health here. Heliola, it's one of the best healing spots in the whole entire game so far. Continue onward and grab this. Do you know what? The word of the day is: Let's kick some ass. Fire enemies are also becoming alarmingly common. We also now have enemies with guns, rifles, we precise, so we have to have those segments. They seem to have a pretty good job doing variety, though. So I don't expect them to be over redundant with them, at least at this point. I don't like the way of your sway. Comrade officer? What is it? You have a reply from HQ. Really? That was fast. Will you inform the captain? Yes, of course. Here's where the deceit comes over. I bet he doesn't inform him. Or maybe he will. Maybe he's a goody good he's trying to get by with the book. This room sure is gravelly. I will ignore that. Let's continue forward. Never know what sort of surprises may bring. All I know is going down this anyway will probably lead to nothing but good things. Definitely hurt the enemy. I know we all heard it. Now the question is, where is he? Will he be behind this door? close. Nothing under here. There's some heaters over here, but there's no power, which implies this will be important in just a second. Oh dear. This doesn't seem like a trap. I don't know what does. Yeah. 
it out. Eat it out. I don't think I should approach that electricity. Flip the switch. That was a big extravagance. It also hurts me, so... That wasn't the best of all plans. Now I should probably turn off the fan right downstairs. I don't want to turn off the electricity. It's the fan that needs to be turned off. It's going insane. Room change. What the hell? They went down a different ladder? Maybe this whole thing. This is gonna be. Found some more rounds. I just realized I couldn't see because I had my flashlight off. Ah, the ha, the irony is almost too much. I get some healing from this thing, though. Oh, it barely heals any health at all. That's a shame. It was less and less with each go. Ah, there were two exits. That place fell out. So now only this way to go. Is this door open, or is this where we just came from? It's locked. I was pretty sure that's where we came from anyway. If I was down here, which I am, what could I do? Punch the generator. Or hit the switch. Fan off. See? As simple as flipping the switch again. Ah, oh, there was a door over here. I suppose. I kind of went for some, like, some secret ammo or something in that corner, but I guess I can't complain. Looks pretty well lit over here. Yeah, there's something to read here. Oh, it's a light source. Except it's not warm enough. On your way to the captain then? Yes, we just received this. A reply from HQ. Take it easy. The time is not right. We'll get to it. Understand? If you have anything else, the captain is in the cargo bay. I see. I was heading there anyway. We are definitely following this route, I see. So Source. I'll probably die against this guy. Yeah, I need to. I, I need to respond that fast. I don't want to waste my gun bullets. I think I do have a shit ton of gun bullets, and this guy seems to be crazy with trying to make electricity happen. So it's probably gonna be worth it. Probably. Oh, me and my hoarding ammo, but this, I'll be grateful I hoarded this ammo later, except I'm gonna use this guy, because this is the fight that might make my life easier. Ah, uh, did you just put 
that door open. Now get out. Reload my ammo for a second. So this gun reloads its ammo so slow. Realistically, you could say. I don't know, guy taken care of. They seem easier and easier, actually. They are deadly, they really are, but they're getting easier to deal with. Ah, it's not like turn the power back on here. For very unknown reasons. Comparatively, it's pretty uh, warm in these last few rooms. Uh, the load area. It's been a while. I know, it's an old World War II ship, so... Pfft. I wonder what age this game is set in. I mean, I know it's this is a World War II thing, but they also mentioned that this ship was old, so I'm assuming it's close to present day. Even We're just in an old location in present day. So, yeah. Probably set in 1981, because they may mention that took place 20 years after. 